we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. The a world that we have now is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. A world in which there is a very real prospect. It's about the future of Europe and the new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept the shadow of the fight that I have to use myself that we needed a new world order. You can keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like your plan... I'm really astounded that people aren't waking up faster to what's going on. I mean, things have been accelerating so much over the last few years, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I started um, doing these videos in 2010, talking about, um, you know, the FBI and the NSA, you know, spying on the people and, you know, conspiracy nut, la la la. Now, of course, that comes out to be obvious knowledge and people just you know they just keep dismissing it I guess I don't, I don't know like they don't want to deal with it their belief systems are so powerful they're so you know how or they just they just don't want to deal with it they just don't want to know about it I think there's a big percentage of people that, that just you know I just don't want to know about it I don't I, I don't care I don't want to know about it I don't know um, would you say that if you had cancer or or um, you had to have an amputation or something like that, would you say, uh, I don't want to deal with it? Well, you'd have to deal with it. Or, or just die. Well, what you're saying by saying, you know, I don't want to deal with it or dismissing it without any real um, investigation or, you know, uh, confirmation. I mean, especially, folks, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. I've got almost 900 videos uh, up here of different subject matters uh, regarding the New World Order, the proof of it, who's behind it, the books and everything. There's, I, it's an unbelievable amount of, it's a treasure trove of research um, that I've done over the last several years and uh, it continues. It's a continuous journey. And... To see our republic being ripped to shreds and when you expose communism, socialism and authoritarian measures and overreaches of power, you're, you're looked at as a loon or a conspiracy theorist. When these same people were demonizing Bush, the war criminal, uh, for the Patriot Act and all of this, and, you know, it's just unbelievable. Um, freedom is what is there, you know. Uh, if you're a you know a left leftist or if you're a right wing or a conservative whatever they want they label you something right uh, or whatever you are don't you just want to be free and individual rights of freedom and liberty that's that's the way I see it that's this that's what this country is all about you have a right to do that but you can't impose your will upon me you can't say that I have to get Obamacare and lose my doctor or pay more or or uh, have to pay, or you know, for 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 things that I that I don't need. Like uh, I mean, I don't I don't I don't have a need for you know gynecological services, but uh, I would have to pay for it. So now I do. So so is this the this the kind of a thing that we want? What, and you know, um, sleazing that you know loophole sleaze to get it so that it's constitutional, but it's really not. I mean, calling it a tax. What about taxation? You know, I mean, you, you, this is unbelievable. You've got a young generation of people that are going to have to pay this money, or they're going to get screwed. It's just, uh, it's just a terrible, terrible state of affairs, and just one of many. The 
regulators destroying the coal industry are going to make electric rates go through the roof. Same thing going on with uh, uh, all of the collectivists, you know, out there. To you know, the people that the the so-called environmentalists, believe it or not, are controlled in most part by this uh, oil trust because it's in their best interests to keep the rates and things going as they are right now, ladies and gentlemen. Since most of our oil is actually exported, it's one of our our, our biggest uh, exports, but it leaves us with, with a smaller amount for our domestic use. So we pay more. So it's brilliant. I mean, it's great if you're an oil baron, you know. So uh, this is what we're under here, you know. And this is just one thing. Forget about the Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate, you know, stealing the wealth of the American people, uh, inflation. You know, you could buy a, buy a cart full of groceries in 1998 for 20 bucks, and now that buys a couple of small items. Um, this is what's happened. And then guess what? The income level is now reduced to the levels of 1998. How's that? So, the average income, that is. The wealthier keep getting wealthier. Because they're doing so well getting corporate profits. Because the stock market's doing so well because the Federal Reserve is pumping it with $85 billion a month. Now you got Yellen in there. You know, this little uh, fascist. You'll see, she'll, she'll turn out to be a big fascist, too. She, oh, she looks like a like a little Jewish grandmother. Well, I have news for you. She's going to continue this plan. She's not in control. She's another puppet, just like Obama. These people are puppets. You know, they serve the order. They serve their oath. They took an oath. Not to the Constitution. <laughs> they took an oath to the order. The Masonic order. Um, in this case, uh, they're all connected. They take an oath. It's like an omerta. You know, like the Mafia. And this is the truth. Believe it or not. So we go from uh, Federal Reserve Crime Syndicate sleazed in there, personal income tax, you know, um, the 16th Amendment, the whole taxation of the labors of the, of the people. Totally... Uh, for the purposes of bloating government and stealing the wealth of people because government wastes the money or siphon it off to companies that fail and go out of business like Solyndra and who owns Solyndra? Where where'd the money go there? From Solyndra. Their operating expenses I'm sure ate up the money. Yes, yeah, right. Um, you know, there's just so much evil and deception here and it's all designed to take away the wealth of the people so all of these socialists that think they're gonna get it so much better, they're really not. They're not going to get it better. You know, raising the minimum wage is going to cost 500,000 jobs. This is what, this is this truth. You know, it's not a right wing or left wing thing. The truth is that every individual person who wants to work and has the ability should be out there kicking their ass every day like everybody else. Period. They don't need a hand up. They don't need a hand up. All they need is to be let the government leave them alone. If we didn't have the income tax, just think about how much more money we would all have. It's true. We would all the economy would be booming. If you had an extra two, three hundred dollars in your check, come on. Please. What do you do with that money? You spend it. You save some of it, but in this economy, my goodness, most people the savings is the level is at the lowest levels. Yeah, I think the average savings people have is thirteen thousand or something like that. Some stupid number of mine. It's just terrible. Personal savings is low in this country. Because people are just consumers. They consume. In fact, they're no longer citizens. They're known as consumers. We should all analyze these things. These are all important things to think about. Well, I mean, I could just rant on and on about it. I just, uh, I'm just trying to reach you, who's watching, that things are not as they appear to be. They certainly are, are escalating. Things are really pretty bad. But, there is hope. And the hope is that we can find a way to somehow get through to the people. That the best way to save our country is to get the government off our backs and out of our pocketbooks and have the corporations have the corporations pay the tax. 
problem is those corporations pay all of these criminal politicians lots and lots of money. They get they, they donate tons of money, so they have to do this, and then they become ambassadors to other countries and stuff like that. There's actually a, like five hundred thousand dollar price tag, and you you can become an ambassador. You give that kind of a donation. I mean, it's big. That's 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 the kind of government you want to have, right? Well, that is our government. <laughs> so. Uh, I think we all have to really reassess what's going on here and just admit who the criminals really are. And they're sitting up there in the White House and in Congress doing deals for their own interests, not the people's. That is how they get paid, to take away the wealth of the people, to serve the New World Order. But don't believe me. Find your own truth. There is only one truth. Seek and you'll find it. We'll send you any shit you want to hear. We do it in illusions, man. None of it is true. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spending here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You ate like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. When we are successful, we, will be. we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. It's the need for a new world order, but it has different characteristics in different parts of the world. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We'll tell you one rooted on four basic principles. non proliferation the None of it is true. The promotion of peace and security. The preservation of our planet. And a global economy that advances opportunity for all people. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed if a new like world order. If you want your plan, you can keep your plan.